It is hard to understand the reasoning here if it doesn't include someone's culpability. I mean, I guess theoretically, hey, we have an excuse to get rid of Comey, so we have our guy in there for the next three years or seven years. But if that was really the case, you might say, well, let's wait for the IG report because undoubtedly that's also going to be critical. Then we'll take the letter that we know we can get from uh, Rod Rosenstein. Or maybe you're concerned about, maybe your buddy Roger Stone is saying you should fire this guy because Roger Stone doesn't want to be investigated because Roger Stone really does feel like he may have some liability. Um, Maybe they're concerned about what they had on Flynn. Maybe it's, maybe Trump's concerned about what they have on uh, Jared or Ivanka. I mean, who knows? But here is Jeffrey Tubin on CNN, not a bomb thrower. He's a former uh, former prosecutor himself, not a bomb thrower, but he seems um, rather uh, outraged about this and um, is not hesitating to tell Wolf Blitzer. Can we point out that the emperor is not wearing any clothes? This memo from Rod Rosenstein is, is says that James Comey was fired for being too mean to Hillary Clinton. Does anyone believe that? Could anyone believe that? I mean, it, it's just absurd. I mean, th- 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 that the, th- suddenly, here it is in May of 2017 that he's being fired for a press conference that he held in July of 2016? I mean, this is just the most preposterous pretext. This is an investigator who is investigating the White House, and he was just fired by the White House. This doesn't happen in the United States, except on October 20th, 1973, when Richard Nixon filed Archibald Cox. And and if anyone thinks that a new FBI director is going to come in and the agency will just take over and and continue their investigation as if this had never happened, that's not how it works. They will put in a stooge who will shut down this investigation. They are in charge. The political people are in charge of the FBI, not the street agents. The street agents do what they're told. And now Donald Trump will put in maybe Chris Christie, someone who will do his bidding. There you have it. And it's going to be interesting to see, um, and to say the least, who the first, uh, who their first uh, attempt at appointing is. Um, I'm sure Chris Christie would love that job. Hi, folks. It's Sam Cedar. You know me from just a minute ago. Listen, uh, we've had a problem on YouTube. Let me make a graphic uh, visualization. Uh, Back in March, our revenue and the ads that were monetized was a lot, like here. And now, over the course of actually within a day into April, (laughs) it's down to about here. Now, this is just a artist rendering, but that's basically it. Uh, we were uh, here, and now we're here. Uh, that's because of some uh, YouTube thing where advertisers were concerned on being on hate sites, and of course, uh, we're a news uh, organization that sometimes talks about hateful people, and we got caught up in their algorithm. I thought it would be fixed by now. It's not. We need your help to keep giving you free content on uh, YouTube. Uh, We don't have the advertiser support that we had even back, you know, here. Um, So we're looking for your help. Go to our Patreon site. Give a couple of bucks. Literally, you could give a couple, and it would be very helpful. Head over there. Here's the link right here or down there. It's somewhere around here. Find it and go help us out. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.